So recently I've been analyzing a Jewel Thief circuit, so this is the pulsating waveform from that circuit. I'm using a white LED, and this is the signal I'm seeing on my oscilloscope, and I'm at one volt per vertical division. So that should be three divisions at least in order to turn on the LED. And the LED is on, as you can see, and the oscilloscope's attached to that. So clearly something is wrong with my oscilloscope. Uh, and I found if I tap this knob here a little bit, the voltage shifts slightly. And I'm not rotating it beyond its point there, it's just fluctuating. So there we are, that's where the voltage should be. But eventually that's just going to fall back down to its initial state right there. So maybe the potentiometer associated with this variable calibration knob is damaged or worn out or the sweepers loose so I'm gonna have to open up the oscilloscope and take a look and this is the BK Precision 20 megahertz oscilloscope model number 2125 I set up the Jewel Thief circuit again because that is when I notice the issue occur. So possibly something about this circuit induces an issue with the oscilloscope. So I've set this up so it's measuring the voltage on the white LED. So you can see the spike exceeds 4 volts there. It's 2 volts per division. It looks like it's spiking at 5 volts. So we'll put it back to the 1 volt per division. So I'm going to let this run for a bit and we'll see if that issue will come back and if it doesn't then I have to take a look at possible influences from the case so as you saw channel 1 really wasn't having any issues but when I switched to channel 2 and attempted to adjust the variable calibration that issue came back now it doesn't stay down very much but clearly there's something going on here there we go, see it's down at one volt and it just sort of pops around a little bit. And if we come over here, and press against the shaft, it goes back to where it should be. And it may be difficult to see. Don't want to get too close to this. But the shaft is somewhat strained. The potentiometer is actually pushed up somewhat. So what I'm going to attempt to do is reset this connection here so that it's more flush or in parallel with the circuit board behind it. Hopefully that stress will reduce and the potentiometer should work better. I removed power from the oscilloscope and now I'm measuring the resistance of the potentiometer. I've removed the shaft connection so I can just turn it by hand right here and I want to see if there's any massive shifts in resistance as I do this. Alright, so it seems pretty stable at the center point there. There's actually a mechanical latching mechanism that holds it at the center point, and that's the lowest, and back to center, and then at the highest we're at 714, 730, something like that. So, Alright, now I'm going to reattach power and make these adjustments by hand without the shaft to see if that issue is still present. So the signal looks fine on channel 2 and if I turn the knob but it still jumps down to that small point periodically but it does seem a little more stable than it was 
before when the shaft was connected. Something I noticed while I was turning this potentiometer manually is when I turn it in this direction, it's rather difficult to turn and you can probably hear the sound of the sweeper running on the thin film polymer material. So when I go this way, there's no sound. And when I go this way, there is some sound. So this potentiometer needs to be replaced. And I may as well replace this one as well. So it looks like I'm going to have to order some new potentiometers that will be suitable to replace the ones that I need to replace. Uh, I don't really have any that are the proper size or resistance value at this time. So I will let you know what the part number is, what their values are, and that video will be uploaded as soon as I can get those parts. Thanks for watching.